Hello everyone, this is Dr. Hamed Ninalowo. This week on Two Minutes with IR Nigeria, we're gonna be answering a question from LinkedIn. And the questions for the week are, what is adenomyosis? And why is it so difficult to discover before surgery? So what is adenomyosis? Well, it's one of the mystery diagnoses of the uterus. And in order to answer this question, we should probably go through the anatomy of the uterus. In the, in the uterus, you have two main layers. You have the endometrial layer, and then you have the myometrial layer. The endometrial layer produces blood, and that's basically near the cavity where a baby will sit normally and where you get your menstrual cycle. The myometrial layer is the muscle layer of the uterus. In adenomyosis, there's proliferation, which means there's essentially movement of the endometrial tissue and the endometrial lining into the myometrial layer of the uterus. And this will cause, this will cause symptoms such as heavy bleeding, prolonged menstrual bleeding, sharp and crampy abdominal pain or pelvic pain, and painful intercourse. So why is it so difficult to discover before surgery? Unfortunately for a lot of women, adenomyosis typically coexists with the occurrence of fibroids. So for some women, when you have symptoms of adenomyosis, we typically say you have fibroids at first until the fibroids are treated, and then you discover adenomyosis at a later time. It also requires a high degree of suspicion by your physician to know that you have adenomyosis and typically you need specialized, uh, specialized imaging for diagnosis of this condition, and that specialized imaging is typically MRI. Regarding treatment options for adenomyosis, you could have either medical treatment options or surgical treatment options. With medical treatment options, we typically focus on anti-inflammatory medicines to treat pain and decrease the inflammation in that area. You could also get birth control pills, which decreases the symptoms. Unfortunately, when it comes to surgical options, it's quite limited. The only surgical option that's available is a hysterectomy, which means removing the uterus completely. For a lot of patients, this is not an option. In interventional radiology, we provide an option called uterine artery embolization, where we target the tissue within the endometrium, causing the symptoms, and we infarct that tissue by putting in particles to stop the blood flow to that area. To learn more about uterine fibroid embolization and uterine artery embolization and all the things we can do with this therapy, please contact us below.